G'day, mateys. It's Mad 73 here. Cruising land, throwing the rubber, and uh, pulling it back off right with the handbrake. Now, I'd like to welcome you back to my Crash Bandicoot and St. Georgie Crash Bandicoot 1 playthrough. And this is part 5. I intended this to be a little shorter. I'd like this to be another bit of part 4, but. Yeah, that didn't quite work out. Oh, and I probably should have apologized to part 3 for the way I had to post part 2. I had a bit of a glitch uploading it originally, so I had to just split it into four parts for part 2, so. Yeah, sorry about that. So, anyway, this is part 5, and we are starting out Super Climb, probably the second hardest level in the game besides uh, Road to Nowhere. I probably tie this with Road to Nowhere, actually, which is on the second island. Oh, and Road to Nowhere has a pretty good song, too, might I add. Let's try and get the special gem here. We'll take our time to make sure if we can get it. Well, don't have to worry about that now. You gotta do it without dying. No, I'm gonna... Oh my glove, I got pushed by the platform! Well, there goes that line. That was pointless getting it. Police protection probably should have pushed me off there, but anyway. Oh, that's a black rocket jump. Ah, <laughs> oh, why did you go backwards, you idiot? No, there's no checkpoints here right up the top of the wall. Which is probably why I'm never going to get the blasted gem on this level, because I didn't do it in the original. Failed so many times trying. Again, what is with the glitch detection not pushing me off when it should be? Should be able to get in there. Not gonna be easy, but got it. No, oh, I've always missed time that, and that's why I don't try the gem on this level. I missed time to jump to get in there, or, or I horribly screw the one up to get out. Alright, it's gonna nearly be another one level episode. Ouch! Butt plant! Yay! I can drive 55. Amazing how much momentum you actually lose off the birds. On the same token, if I turn on what you've got to click and solve to access the bonus, it's amazing how high you actually jump. Ah, I went way early! 
far out. Never, ever jump there early. Except on about one or two occasions. Oh, bulldust! What have we got? I'm going to lose about 20 lives here at least. I've already lost about 8. Oh, when you go act like that, that's when you should be surviving. Get the, get the gem on the hardest level in the game, and I can't be jack on the second hardest. That was bull dust. That's the bad collision detection for you. When I should be falling on one platform, I don't. But as soon as I gotta jump onto another, I fall off. That's why when you when you round off edges, it didn't need to be rounded at all. I suppose when you got updated graphics, that's always going to happen. I like the collision detection in the original for the reason that it was a flat edge instead of a rounded edge. How did I jump over that? First time I've done that in, in this particular version of the game. Might have my time to jump, but I might be able to jump up there. So I get the free spawn in checkpoint crate, which is a great addition they've added to and it helps a lot with this level. Oh, that was lucky. I was never getting greedy at the time, he was that far out. Nope. 
I was never making it. Now I got to sit here and wait for. Yep, timing was up. Timing's right this time. Barely. Good thing that slows down just a little there. Oh, that was lucky. I do make certain jumps a little easier, but. But hey, we're up top. in the soft center. Embryo bonus, folks. Oh, oh, I know this one. I did this in my solo playthrough. I know that bonus. I moved too far. There's a little bit of a cheese way to do this, if I can get it to work. Ah, oh, I jumped over the box, you fool! Kind of at it. I wasn't really the method I was going for. <laughs> yeah, I missed the TNT there. Dang it! I don't know. So what little bit there with all that thing and take close to those lines it screws me. Yeah, 
can't beat it, Brio. Get out of here. That's that bonus complete. Yeah, yeah. Right. Whoa! Not there, you don't. That's where you jump. Oh, I had to go across the opening. I broke every box. <laughs> Can't deny that. You really want us to do that when they are dying? I think there are. I've seen a couple of players do it, but it's nigh on impossible outside of those few players I've seen. I've got plenty of skill myself, but to time everything perfectly to get out of those little areas? <laughs> nah. You've got to be kidding. That one right there is going to be one of the worst evening in time trial. 3.30, you've got to be joking. You've got to be joking to get 3 minutes 30 for time trial on that one, folks. And now i got to break everything without dying again and get a special gem. And this one you got to be fairly quick, otherwise you lose your, you lose your light source. Die. There goes the gem. I would have done it perfect too. Just a bit, probably. boxes but that Whew, is that level finished so I wasn't gonna get the gem anyway but I'm quite sure where those three boxes are I don't know I have to do that one a little bit slower in my own what my own other my solo run through game um yeah, I think I'll have to leave part five there. So, until next. Oh, yeah, before I forget. And really, seriously, before I forget to tell you, if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe. I mean, leave a like down the bot down the down below and uh, also leave a comment down there. I'll phrase it a, a little cleaner for you. If you like the video, 
Be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and if you loved it, make sure to subscribe. And with that, I will see y'all later. So this will be Bad 0073. Oh, and also, before I forget, hit the notification bell to be part of the notification squad to be notified whenever I upload a video, and I'll see y'all next time. And this is Band 0073, smoking up those tires and burning that rubber on out of here, and signing out.